Okay, so this is an upgraded version of Silver Bullet. Now, I know if you have been using Silver Bullet in the past, you might know that it doesn't work that well. It has a 45% to 40% win rate with 1 to 2 or risk to reward, which is okay, but it's not something that you should depend on. But this remastered version is very good. And I'm going to teach you each and everything in this video. So the number one thing I'm going to teach you is how to determine the intraday bias. For Silver Bullet, we need to know the intraday bias. We need to determine the intraday bias. That is very important. We need to know where the price will head to during New York session, all right? So number two, I'm gonna teach you how to determine bias. Then we're gonna use ERL to IRL methodology later in the video. And fourth and fifth is a circuit thing that I'm gonna teach you later on in the video. So let's learn about what is actually a silver bullet, right? Let's learn about the old silver bullet so a lot of people know what I'm talking about. So during, you know, 3 to 4 a.m., we are looking for a fair value gap to form and then we're looking to take our entry from that fair value gap, right? So let's assume that this right here is the 3 a.m., right? 3 a.m. And this is like... 4 a.m. window period so we can take our entry from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. that's the London session uh, silver bullet right so the first fair value gap that forms after 3 a.m. you will take your entry from that fair value gap your entry must be before 4 a.m. right and then you can go for 1 to 2 or 1 to 1 now similarly the New York kills uh, sorry the New York silver bullet is from 10 a.m till 11 a.m. So you must get an entry before 11 a.m. And the very first fair value gap that forms on the one minute time frame after 10 a.m., that should be your entry level. But it is not that simple because most of the time you're going to get stopped out, all right? Because we do not have a proper bias. We do not have a intraday bias. And that is very important. So how do you actually... You know, how do you actually determine the intraday bias? Let me explain it to you. So by now, you must know that what is external range liquidity and internal range liquidity, right? So to summarize this, whenever price takes out external range liquidity, we always go to internal range liquidity. And if we go to internal range liquidity, we always go to external range liquidity. External range liquidity is every high and low. So this is external, this is external. And internal is every single fair value gap. So if there is a fair value gap here, that is going to be your internal range liquidity. So price goes from external to internal and from internal to external. By using this, we can determine the bias for silver bullet, but it's not that simple. So on the 15 minute time frame, before your silver bullet time, so before 3 a.m. or before 10 a.m., you are looking for a ERL and to IRL formation. So look in the past if price has taken out some form of ERL right so let's suppose that um at 3 a.m right so let me just do this that's when the london session silver bullet starts so at 3 a.m or just before 3 a.m price took out some form of external range liquidity on the 15 minute time frame and just below this level there is a fair value gap all right now on the 15 minute time frame, once the external is taken out, you are dropping down to one minute time frame. Now, all we are looking for is a market structure shift on the one minute time frame with a fair value gap. So if we get a fair value gap and we are still in the, you know, silver bullet hours, so from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., we can easily take our entry and we can target this level or we can go for one to two or one to one. Now, how did we determine our bias? It's very simple. We used external to internal rage methodology, right? We always go from external to internal. And in this case, you can see that during the silver bullet period, price took out external range on the 15 minute time frame. Afterwards, we looked for a market structure shift. We had our bias here that this fair value gap is going to be filled. And by using that, by keeping that thing in mind, we took our entry from the fair value gap. That was your silver bullet entry with bias. 
Now, here is the secret thing, all right? Look for SMT divergences around here. So price takes out ERL. You can get, you know, a SMT on the one minute or you can also get SMT on the 15 minutes. So what exactly is SMT? So let's suppose on your USD, we made a higher high, higher low, and then a higher high, right? But on GU, we failed to create another higher high. So let me just fix that up. We failed to create another higher high, right? And we just didn't, uh, was when we were not able to create, you know, a higher high on GU. So that is a extra confluence. When, when you get like SMT divergence, right? And then you look for a market structure shift and take your into it, that's gonna increase your probabil probability so much, guys. Like this is literally insane. So similarly, you would do the same for New York silver bullets. So just before 10 a.m. or after 10 a.m., look for external range liquidity purge and then identify the fair value gap in the dealing range. So what exactly is a dealing range? Dealing range is determined. So let's assume this is dealing range low and this is dealing range high. Actually, this is dealing range high and I'm, I'm going to explain what I mean by it. So a dealing range high is determined by the high that sweeps liquidity and then pushes down. So you can see this leg swept the liquidity. So this is the dealing range high. Now let's assume that this dealing this low swept some form of liquidity, right? On the 15 minute. Now this is your dealing range low and this is your dealing range high. Why? Because this low swept liquidity and pushed up and this high swept liquidity and pushed down. So that's when you use FIB and determine your um, premium and discount zones. So look for a fair value gap inside a dealing range. Do not look for fair value gaps below here because, you know, there are millions of fair value gaps on the charts. Price is not going to fill some fair value gap down there. It's only going to fill a fair value gap that's in the dealing range. That's how price moves. So with that in mind, we can take our silver bullet entries. And if I flip the chart over, you can see that it's the same for bullish entries, right? We look for external range liquidity purge right on the 15 minute time frame and afterwards we look for a market structure shift we also look for smt divergence please make a habit of looking for smt divergence with every single model because that's going to increase your win rate so i'm going to give you some correlating pairs so for your usd you would use gbp usd for aud usd you would use nzd usd for Euro JPY, you would use GBP JPY. For NAS 100, you would use US 30 and S&P 500. All right. So you take your entry, go for one to one, one to two, or one to three. I suggest you go for one to two and you target, you know, you have this in mind that this is your draw on liquidity. And but I hope by now you know that we should look for external range liquidity purge after 10 and we can also look just before 10. So if you see in the past that price has already taken out some form of external range and we are pushing up towards this draw on liquidity and let's, okay, let's say, let me just quit this. So let's say that the silver bullet time starts here, but price already had a market structure shift and an entry, right? So the silver bullet session starts here. We had already entered we wouldn't enter here because we were not in the silver bullet times, right? But the silver bullet starts here. Now you can just mark out any fair value gap that's here and then you can look to take your entry towards your draw on liquidity, which is the internal range liquidity on the 15 minute time frame. So now let me give you guys some examples and then everything is going to be crystal clear. All right, guys, before moving on to the examples, I want to talk about private Discord server and private course, right? So once you join the private course and private discord right you have the signals section right and that's where i give out signals with exact entry stop loss and take profit level so you can see tp smashed tp smashed and tp smashed and this one was unfortunately closed at break even then you can see how many strategies we have here
easiest strategies ever, guys. And then that's where I'd post my breakdowns and whatnot. So if you are interested, click the link below. Let's move on to the examples. So here is example one, guys, looking at your USD on the 15 minute first. So the silver bullet session started here, but we didn't have a clear draw on liquidity, right? So you can see that over here, we swept the liquidity, right? We swept the external range liquidity and right here, what do we have? We have a fair value gap. So if I go to the one minute time frame, right? So we need a body closure for us to be to determine the market structure shift. So I want to wait, wait. And right here, we are at 1050, right? So we must get our entry before the 11 a.m. And now I'm going to use the middle line for entry because the fair value gap is very big and we need at least one to two. So my entry is going to be here. And let's see if we're getting one to two. We are not. So I'm going to just slightly decrease my stop until we get one to two. So it's going to be here. So let's see if we get an entry. And at 10.51, we got our entry. And you're going to see that this plays out perfectly. So a very clean trade. Now, of course, this was in hindsight, but this is how you look at the markets when you are looking at them live, right? You have to look at different things. So one to two is must. Um, for you to be sustainably profitable in the long run. So always go for one to two. You can decrease your stop loss. It is don't worry, it will not stop you out. And just go for one to two. Now let me give you guys uh, more examples. All right guys, so here is example two. So you can see at just 10, you know, during the silver bullet start, we swept external range liquidity. So now I'm gonna mark out the dealing range. So the dealing range high is the one that swept liquidity. So over here. And dealing range low because we swept liquidity. Now over here we have a fair value gap just above the 0 0.5 level. So this is going to be my draw on liquidity. So now I'm going to one minute time frame and I'm looking for a shift in the structure, right? So we do have a shift in the structure here. I consider this a market structure shift as well because we are on a silver bullet and price is going to be very very volatile, all right? So believe we already got an entry yes we did so let me just fix this up there you go so this is our entry at 1021 now notice one thing there's a fair value gap here as well now and this right here so let me go to the 15 minute time frame and let me just delete this this is our draw right so if I go to the one minute time frame and I see that I'm getting one to two at least. And my stop is covering this fair value gap as well. I'm going to take my entry from the most recent fair value gap. If and only if I'm getting one to two at least um, on my draw on liquidity, right? This is very important because sometimes price will not come into this fair value gap. So you're going to see. that the draw on liquidity was hit. And look at how clean the price section was, all right? We had a fractal market structure shift and we can consider these type of market structure shifts as well because silver bullet aura is very volatile, all right? So let me give you guys one more example. All right, guys, so here is the last example and you can see that we swept external range liquidity just before the silver bullet R, which is from 3 a.m. to 4 p.m. And if I use my dealing range to dealing range, we have this as our draw on liquidity. So now I'm going to go to the one minute time frame and look at what's happening. So we already got a shift in the market structure here, right? And the silver bullet starts here. So we have already determined our bias, all right? Now let's see if we can get at least one to two from this fair value gap, if we put our stop here. No, you can see that we do not, right? So in this case, what we wanna do, we wanna target the extreme one. So this is my entry. My stop goes right below the low and one to two. And let's see how this plays out. So we got our entry at three nine. 
and you can see that the take profit was hit. So this is Silver Bullet Remastered, guys. This has a very high win rate. Um, please, please go and back test this. Please subscribe. This is actually premium content right here, all right? This stuff is from my course, my private course, all right? This specific strategy. Of course, I go into more detail in my private course, but this is all you need. Look at the precision here, all right? So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.